Hello, my name is John Kitchener, a watch manager within the Emergency Response Team for Staffordshire Fire Rescue Service. Prior to working in the Emergency Response Team, I was one of the instructors in our Learning and Development Department, and I spent five and a half, nearly six years, teaching fire behaviour training. So that's where our operational crews deal with compartment fires. We do live fire burning in Staffordshire, so we do the carbonaceous burns in the shipping containers. And I've always taught using your standard hose reel branch techniques of your, your safety, coning, your long pulses, and then painting the fire back at the end. And nationally, that's pretty much the accepted model for dealing with compartment fires. My involvement with the ST15 branch from Firebug has led me to recognise that the key component in dealing with those conditions has been the misting. We've always tried to ensure that we put as small an amount of water as possible into those compartments, but with the largest possible surface area, because that's what cools the fire gases. So what we've been able to do in the development of this branch is concentrate on that area of the misting nozzle and get that just right. So what we've actually done, I feel, is we've improved firefighter safety dramatically because we've taken an element of that human component out of the equation. As I say, the fire behaviour instructor for five, six years, when the conditions start to deteriorate within the containers, I don't mind saying when it gets really hot, you're very tempted to put some extra water into that environment. That generates more steam, causes that sauna effect. We've all been in the sauna. If someone's put too much water on the stones, it creates a very, very uncomfortable atmosphere. And that's exactly what happens in these compartments. By limiting the volumes of water that we use, we can ensure firefighter safety. I've used the branch, stand on branches previously, and I've put the wrong setting on and in doing so put too much water into the environment and cause that deterioration in conditions. What the ST15 allows for is it's simply got two settings. You've got a mist setting and you've got a setting where you can put larger volumes of water for the painting technique to eventually extinguish the fire when you've reached the seat of the fire. So in its simplest terms it doesn't allow for user error. Now, I'm confident with a branch, but occasionally those errors come in, which cause that deterioration. ST15 has one setting for the misting. So you do your safety, your long pulses, and you don't have to change the cone size. By removing that opportunity for error, I genuinely feel that it improves firefighter safety. Because if the conditions deteriorate, you can simply knock the branch off. You don't need to change your branch settings. You can let the water that you've put into the environment do the work, start to cool the conditions, knowing that next time you open the branch, you'll have the right branch setting. And for me, that, that's paramount. Too much water in these environments can be detrimental if it goes into the neutral plane. But the massive surface area that this misting nozzle creates, huge surface area, it has a, a dramatic effect on dealing with the hot fire gases in the neutral plane. It really does cool the products of combustion extremely efficiently.